Boise State and San Diego State. SDSU wins 27 to 16. Uh, 92% post game win expectancy for San Diego State. They, after the first half, they put Boise State in the locker. They exactly yep. what you talk about all the time. They were up 16 to 13 at the half, Boise State was, and got outscored 14 to nothing in the third quarter. There was no scoring in the fourth. Uh, you look at the overall stats here. San Diego State had 408 total yards. That is That's insane. amazing, by the way, because this offense is not good. No. No, they are not. <laughs> this it, what, what happened with Boise, 35 rushes for 91 yards. You knew you weren't going to be able to run the football. No, but not on this team. Hank Bachmeyer, 21 out of 40 passing, 222 yards, two touchdowns, two picks, and then Jack Sears came in, was one out of two for six yards, and threw an interception. That is three interceptions. You cannot turn the football over against San Diego State. It will cost you. And Brady Hoke, by the way, looks 15 years younger. Looks oh, incredible well, yeah. right it's now. It's amazing what winning does, right? Oh, it's unbelievable. unbelievable. So here's, I'll go, we'll go quickly on this. Me and you talk about this San Diego State team all the time because they're relevant. And they're the most relevant team in the Mountain West. Hey, Kirk Maddox, by the way, Parker called him out on the show last week. Awesome. Awesome job with the defense this year. It, it's, it's still kind of... The same Rocky Long-ish that, that Zach Arnett runs and whatnot yeah. at Mississippi State, but a few different flares there, here and there, and, and what he's been able to do with that defense the last couple of years has been highly impressive. He's actually getting looks for other gigs. So, yeah. go ahead. So, we always worry about, and you bring this up, which is a valid concern, how are they going to get points? Because we know their defense is great, but are they ever going to score enough to beat good teams, even to beat decent teams? And, and I tell you all the time, I don't know how they score, but I just trust them to find a way to get more points than the other team. And, and this Boise game, it kind of all kind of came to an epiphany, which was their defense just wears the other offense out so much that it doesn't matter. And when a bad offense is going up against the defense that's on the field all the time, we, we talked about it a little bit in the Wisconsin-Minnesota game, it was – it was Boise's defense is so much better than than San Diego State's offense, but it, when they're on the field constantly and you just keep getting shots and keep getting shots and keep getting shots, defensive players because of the way the game is being played in the trenches wear out much faster than the offensive players do. Yes. and 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 when they're on the field so long, at some point in time the dam breaks and there's nothing we can do. Yes, uh, San Diego State time of possession in this game, 34 minutes, 17 seconds. Uh, Boise was 25 minutes and 43. We, I want we to have see got, the split for second half. We, oh, I, I don't have the splits in front of me. But um, I, don't know. I think, it, I think, that, it, was a I think it gets significantly different in the second half. Yes, oh, 100%. Oh, we Let's have got on. some uh, some arguing going on <laughs> in, uh, in in the in the chat here. Ball Python Love jumped in and said, I'm glad Boise did bad this year. Um, and Double O'Neill said, watch out, them's fighting words. And Ball, of course, jumps in and said, I'm a Nevada Wolfpack fan. We beat you. Double said, yes, you did enjoy your win. The next one will come in the next 10 years. Like, I love this. The fact that we have a show where we have a Nevada fan and a Boise fan jumping in, that is phenomenal. That's what makes college football so awesome, right? It's, it's not just LSU and Alabama and Ohio State and whatever. It is Nevada fans and and Boise State fans. I this is but this is why we have to get ri- we have to get rid of the the phrasing Power Five G Five yes because nobody nobody with a right thinking brain can say that the Mountain West is worse than the ACC this year. It's worse than the Big Twelve and it's worse than the Pac Twelve. No one no one with a right thinking brain can say that. I agree. and I don't know that they're better than the 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 American. Larry Pilgrim said, wish my Utes would have started Cam against SDSU. Came in and with a quarter and a half, got Utah to triple overtime. Uh, receiver dropped two-point conversion. SDSU is a good team. Super seniors. Yeah, I don't think that San Diego State Super will be seniors. as good next year. But, nope. again, th- it'll be three years in the same system. They got guys that are coming behind them that have been developed. Sometimes you can just do that. Like, we'll, we'll Sometimes, see. but man, I, still, I, still, I do think they're going to lose a lot. I think they're yeah, going to lose no, a absolutely. lot. Yeah, no, absolutely. There's a reason that Fresno – was unbelievable, and then they fell. And then, like, like other than Boise, the Mountain West has been kind of a churn, right? Like yeah. a new a new face the last couple of years, and, and three years running. I, I think it's hard to stay at the top of that conference. Yes, no, you're you're not wrong about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE at Chris B G and 
at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.